Right then folks, I thought I'd do a little video of this. Uh, I'll just put it up on my Facebook page. I'm sorting out the 132 Germans, German infantry, all airfix. And I'm sorting out, I did have a couple of boxes sorted out already, but they were getting mixed up with broken figures and gun tips, etc. So I've dug out from all the boxes underneath. I think there's some more in there actually, but I thought I'd stop at that because I filled this bit of table up. So yeah, so I was just sorting out all these figures here. Were all uh, good figures, all intact, clean, gun tips okay. And nice clean figures. So I thought I'd dig through the old lot on the original video uh, pictures that I put up on my page. So I've got plenty of sets to sort out there to put up for sale. And then also what I do is I go through all the figures and dig out anything that's painted or needs to clean. There you go. So that's got a bit of paint on it. This one's painted up. But once it gives a clean, if you look at my other videos, I've put a video on there of using Mr. Muscle cleaning uh, oven cleaner. And I can put all these in tubs, although that is quite a lot to do. So I'll have to do them in batches. I'll put, pick a set out, the full 29, if I can. Normally I've got enough captains to do that. But there's a few captains in that lot over there. And I've got a few captains over there in that lot that I can sort out to clean up. But what I did want to point out is um, some of the colour schemes on some of the stuff that's painted. And uh, when you have a look at it, it's quite different, you know. I don't know how the age group of, you know, obviously these for when we were kids ourselves. A lot of us are aged between 45 and 65 now. And we had these when we were kids and we painted them up. What skill level anybody's at. But yeah, seen a couple of few sort of various colour schemes that people have decided on painting up. And there you go, there's some different ones. But yeah, I would say some, some of them are pretty decent you know I would say it's like this somebody's obviously done some winter troops here and uh it's not done a bad job of them actually on those ones whoever did those whatever skill level they're at but yeah it doesn't doesn't matter you know someone's painted them took the time to buy them paint them into their own specific little color scheme there's two contrasting color schemes black helmets dark blue uniform Greyish helmets, green uniform. But what I did find in there is these two. These these weren't too bad actually. So obviously the paint's rubbed off where they've been in with that lot. But yeah, took the time to paint the ammo box. Bullets in there. But what I do come across is these other bits and bobs. Like I've got this Britain's detail. Comes from the mortal crew. There's the other guy. Someone's painted that. They were in all with all this lot. Some of the more modern blue airfix that came out in the red box and the more recent uh, white box airfix. Some soldiers of the world that came in that were mixed in there. Also, a couple more of the tan versions. So I think these came in. The little blue bags that I used to sell in shops, in the toy shops. But yeah, and all those figures over there are broken. Some of them I will use in conversions. Some of them you can repair. I say if I just lean over, grab an officer. Like these guys, these are pretty easy to repair. You cut this gun tip flat. And I've got some really tiny, tiny pins. Real thin they are. And then uh, I won't drill it out. I'd literally heat the pin up, push it into the end of the gun barrel, 
then I cut it off and then it's ready for painting for a conversion. As you can see, yeah, as usual, with a grenade guy, grenades always snapped off. They're a good, easy little fix they are. Same again, using the pin method with a little bit of plastic sprue cut off to shape, to go for the potato masher, as they call them. Um, same with the gun tips. I'll just walk around the other side, give you a view of the table. I've recently painted up just for a few little scenarios, battle scenes. Here we go, machine gunners. Same again, get the pin in there, heat it up, push it in, cut it off, paint it up. I'm saying that one is up for a conversion, which is mainly this pile over here that I've done. And some of them just need, that's nearly complete. So same again, I could most probably do that with a pin. And same with some of these rifle guys. Or I could make a little cheap setup to sell on. Give someone else a chance to do a few conversions. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to attempt the commandos next, the British commandos. Uh, but I have got quite a few of them, so that might take me a little bit longer to sort out and do a video of. But I just thought I'd share that with you, sorting out figures. And then obviously seeing all these different little colour schemes on these painted figures. Nothing wrong with them apart from they need re-cleaning. I would say these, I might actually leave like this and do a setup like that. But yeah, you can see, just thought I'd share that. Okay, thanks for watching and cheers.